or maybe Friday night, but our weather whiz kids are still hard at work. <laughs> That's right, and on a lot of kids' minds after seeing a little flurries coming yes. down. Snow, I suppose. Yep. Right, Scott? Yeah, that's definitely been on people's minds. It's been on my mind, too. Mm -hmm. This morning, especially, when snowflakes are flying, I'm thinking, aha, uh -huh. we keep we were just talking about it before. Well, the ski areas be ready. Well, we'll get to that. And again, storms are going to start piling that snow up eventually. But let's take a look at our, or a listen to our weather question from Horizon Elementary. My name's Dakota. I go to Horizon Elementary. And my, and my question today is, why does it rain snow or hail? Thank you, Dakota. Why does it rain, snow, or hail? Basically, precipitation. Why do we get precipitation in general? Well, again, it has to do with the fact that, first of all, the Earth is round. And as the sun heats the Earth, it heats it unevenly. That's the main reason that we have weather. Some places are hotter than others. We had talked about that earlier. So what happens is you get different temperatures around. And when you get different temperatures, you get pressures that change. And the bottom line is the wind starts to flow around the Earth and gets everything moving. Well, as air masses move, they cause the main element to get condensation and clouds to occur. And that is lifting of the air. If you can make the air rise, it will cool and condense, make clouds and precipitation. And with cold air being heavy and mild air, air riding into cold air will tend to ride up and over the cold air and as that air rises the high thin clouds will uh, tend to grow and if the clouds grow enough you'll get precipitation falling so when you're lifting air that's when you get precipitation and it can happen in many different ways when you have a cold wedge of air during the winter time and mild air is advancing you can have that mild air cause the air to rise and get uh, precipitation forming and that snow will fall through this deep layer of cold air but as that wedge of cold air retreats and the layer of warm air gets thicker and thicker and you see this getting shallower, you start to get snow melting and then it freezes as ice as it's still cold near the ground. Then eventually the warm air just takes over and it just turns all to rain. This may occur minus the ice on Monday when precipitation comes in. That will be warm air riding up and over colder. So the main reason why we get precipitation of all sorts is to get air to rise. And that'll happen in different ways, either rising up gradually in the wintertime or violently ahead of a cold front during the summertime. So great question about precipitation. If you've got questions or your kids have questions, you can reach me at weather at fox9now.com. Have a great weekend, cold weekend. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be. All right, thanks, Scott. Well, there's a new king at the top.